What is up, everybody? It's July 12th, 2023. This is my best friend, Curtis. Howdy, y'all. Guys, I got him up here from Orange County. Um, just the nicest, coolest guy ever. We're gonna go on the Woodland Trail hike. Hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy our conversations. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Dude, we're doing it, bro. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys, I'm just tilting it down for a second because I gotta screw it on here. Yes, parked vehicle. Oh, dang, that's right. I don't have a recreation pass. pass. You know what? Hopefully the ticket's not too bad. I have to get it. It's like 30 bucks, and then for a second one, it's five extra bucks. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Ah. Isn't, it, isn't it wonderful? I'm hoping since it's the weekday, they're not going to be surveilling this that type of stuff too much but guys don't get the wrong idea i need to be paying for that i just completely forgot because as you all know i go hiking with ray and ray always gives me his to use so all right oh yeah oh yeah so are there, are there two trails What's going on? i have oh that's okay it's got to be up here then because that's a private road yeah i was wondering the exact same thing i was I was thinking, great, I'm going to get lost and we haven't even started. Have you been up here before? No. <laughs> no, bro. So I'm super excited. All right. It's an adventure. Adventure. And so that's a... Wait, what the... What the heck? Private roads. Beautiful things. Private roads. You know what? Let me just... Yeah. Yeah, definitely is. Definitely is. You know what? Worst case, I'm going to ask these people. Private road no through okay since it says no th yeah yeah hey excuse me you guys do you know if, if that's the woodland trail okay okay thank you guys <laughs> that side okay okay oh that's that's right yeah, that okay. Thanks, guys. Yes. But I'm just hoping. Ah, oh, we'll see. Homeowners vehicles only. Private road. Oh, homeowners vehicles. Well, we might be on. It's all right. Walking up someone's driveway. <laughs> Hopefully we get out. <laughs> Usually I let, I let someone know or a couple people know where I'm going, when to expect me back, which is no, no joke, yeah. and uh, to contact me at a certain time if they don't hear back from me. Oh, there is a cabin up there. So guys, as I said, my buddy here comes up from, from coastal areas of Orange County and uh, Makes me happy as heck to get to see him because I don't get to spend a whole lot of time with him because we're both extremely busy. And this guy is, uh, I'm telling you guys, he's an idol to me. He's a mentor to me. He's been super, super good to me. One of the few people that's unconditional with me. Kind of like you guys are actually. But uh, yeah, thank you, Chris. Thanks for the introduction. Of course, bro. Wow, shit. Of course. I've never been introduced like that. <laughs> well, we, you should be, and folks should roll out that red carpet for you, too. Thanks, bro. You're welcome. Well, I'm glad to be up here, man. We've been wanting to do this for how long? A long time. A long time. One time, maybe three, three years ago, or two and a half years ago or so, his girlfriend, has the most incredible Jeep, guys. It's it's like the top of the line Jeep. And we went and did a whole Holcomb Valley drive. And that was so much fun. And then when he leaves, I like literally almost shed tears. Well, not, not almost, I, I actually do because it's really hard because I don't have anyone up here. I've got my wife, thank goodness, but, um, it's just super tough and I just want you guys to know that this guy is a super super good dude and 
great businessman, um, works extremely hard, is very well respected in his industry. Um, yeah. But yeah, hopefully we're on the right path here. Uh, we're still on the road. Yes. Although there is a... I do see a, a little trail right there. Trail. You know what? I'll bet that's the trail. It scoots up that way. Yeah. It goes up that way. Does it? Yeah. Oh. Looks good right you know what? Let's go look at the go sign down. real quick. Yeah. Sweet, dude. We might have found a trail. Yeah. But I never knew there were actual homes back here. Homes. It says trail. Okay. Trail. Trail. Trail on. <laughs> and I, th I, know, I know you guys on the channel will be proud of me. I'm wearing my merino wool socks this time. So you don't have to hear me complaining. I just have regular socks on. Oh, dude, he's, oh, he's... I will be complaining. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> this guy's feet will fall off before he starts complaining about anything. What do we got here? 13. So... You know what? Let's just let's just take it. And uh, do we have a, a pedometer? Because it's supposed to be like a circle. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? On on my darn phone, I think I got one. Ah. Yeah. True. Are you pretty good at sensing your distance? I'm like a bird. Okay. Perfect then. <laughs> okay. Oh, Kurt, this is great. I was telling him guys that we got to look out for snakes, but he's, 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 he's got a beautiful little snake at home too. Two, Two of them now? Sam's got one. No way. Yeah. How are they doing? Growing. They're getting long and big. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's, he's still growing a lot too, huh? He's huge. I, I remember he was just this little tiny guy. I know. It's amazing how fast they grow. Yeah, I've been catching snakes out in the desert since I was a little kid. I used to catch them and collect them in the giant tank that I had. I never had the courage for that. How you guys doing? Good, how you guys doing? Great. Is, is this the Woodland Trail? Yes. yes. Oh, thank goodness. It'll loop you around. Oh, so it does loop us yeah. around. We started on that side. We are okay. coming to number 13. Go back down to yes, R16. I just saw... Si yeah. oh, all right, so... so... It'll take you all the way around. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys take care. Be safe. You didn't see any snakes, did you? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, guys, Curtis, just like some of my other friends growing up, used to, as he said, trap the snakes. Not in a bad way. Just, just to, you know. I'll let them go. After a while. It, where I grew up, there would be a lot of, is it called gardener or yeah. garter? Garter. Garter. And apparently they're super friendly, right? Well, <laughs> sometimes. So, <laughs> I had one bite me one time I caught, and it was a huge one. The biggest one I actually ever caught bit me. Really? Yeah. The garter snake? Yeah, it bit me in the, right in the arm. And I was pretty young at the time. I was only like probably 11 or 12. And, it, you know, big giant snake bite, you know. First time being bit. Was kind it scary? Oh, okay, bit. sure, sure. Didn't know what to do, but I handled it. Calmly. <laughs> Didn't drop the snake. <laughs> yeah. I would have been in a blind panic. We became friends. After I bit him back. <laughs> <laughs> How long do uh, snakes usually live, Curtis? Do you know that? Depends on how much you feed them, I think. Oh, no kidding. If they're eating good and they're protected, they can live for a long time. But I don't know each species. I want to get a birdie. Birds are cool. Because, you know, I, at this point, that being 43, I could buy a, a, a baby and it could outlive me of, 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 of certain strains or certain strains. Now, do, you want, certain... do you want a talking bird? Um, a singing bird. Just a really smart bird. It's a really smart bird who isn't going to talk while I'm trying to sleep, even though I don't mind. I know that sounds like a jerk comment to make, but... Well, birds sleep when you put them to sleep. I'll oh, that's right. You put the cover... Duh. Okay. Wow. 
Hey, look, can you see, look, San Gorgonio through there, you, you can see snow up top. I mean, you can hardly see it. Just a little patch. Huh? Just, just, yeah. just a little patch. Yeah. Think that'll make it out the rest of the year? No, but, but they have been known in some of the super shadier areas to have year-round snow. Bit. How cool is that? Yeah, I th see, if it was just me, I, I would have tumbled down that way. I'm sure this is where we go. This has to be right. Looks like the main track. Yeah, it totally does. And if I'm going too slow for you, you can hop up front too. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thanks, man. Checks in the mail. Ah, so how's business going? You know, it's got its, its ups and downs. It goes really hard where I'm super busy and like just struggling to keep up to nothing. And it's dead in the water for two weeks. Yeah, you know? yeah. So it just fluctuates constantly. And it hasn't been to this degree in a long time since I've been, you know, doing it. But it's steadily slowing down. And that's just the market in general. It's just, it's, you know, it's nothing that I'm doing in particular. Even with all your innovations, staying ahead of the game. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. It's a money market. Whoever's got the most money wins. He, he, he owns a company, you guys, called Blue, B-L-E-W Concentrates. <laughs> and it's a phenomenal company. And they're actually somewhat of leaders in that whole industry with what they do. Very well respected. Um, for the, for uh, those of you that are interested, I will definitely leave some, some information about him in, in the, uh, the description here. And so those of you that may be owners and stuff like that, please feel free to contact him. Um, I think you guys would be not only blown away, but you would be super surprised. It's definitely, definitely without even any second thought, the best concentrate company I've ever seen. Um, he cuts zero corners. We're more of a craft, we're more of a craft company than a, than a production company. We do small batches and we keep it, keep the, the, we, we keep the, the value there and we keep the potency and we keep everything that's good involved there it stays in the product. <clears throat> yeah. That's what makes us unique. And guys, I, I know in that specific industry, a lot of people know of all the greed out there. This guy doesn't, he doesn't have that bone in his body. It's just all about representing what he does to the fullest yes, because sir. it's it's about him and about what he is doing. It's uh, obviously every business owner has a bottom line, but what separates people like my best friend from other people is screw the bottom line. Yep, yep. Make it happen. Yep. Keep impressing the customer. Keep <laughs> providing the very best product humanly possible. And uh, yeah, guys, it's uh, I'm I'm super proud of him. I've I've watched him grow over the years, and uh, it's it's couldn't happen for a, a, a nicer man. And guys, he's treated me so so well too. Look at that. Look at yes. look at Snow Summit, bro. That's freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, dude, that is spectacular. Oh, there's Bear Mountain right there too. Look guys, bear to the left, snow summit to the right. And nothing but cool air flowing out. I was just gonna say that too. It feels so good. 77 degrees, 78. Curtis is is technically working right now. He just came up from Joshua Tree area. And as I said, he lives near near the beach in Orange County. I mean guys, you wanna talk about a work ethic? I'm so I'm I'm so proud of you, dude. Thanks, man. You've been a great mentor for me, and uh, you know I, I I I will always always show you the love and respect always because you've helped me so much it, with my growth. 
you know well, you know like attracts like it, and you know that's well why said. we've become good friends well said because you respect me and i respect you and we both uh you know do well how are you doing <laughs> take care sir thank you all right guys so we just had our first overheat which interrupted curtis and uh just for that i kind of want to throw the gopro because you you don't interrupt my best friend like that uh -huh. <laughs> well, i lost my train of thought <laughs> i gotta say something good that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gone whatever so i'm wondering if these people went that way to start to yeah. get through the hardest part first which means that we'll probably be going downhill for most of what they went you think we'll come out that other road that we we're gonna go up you know what let's place a friendly gentleman's bet on it i think so uh or no i'll bet it'll be right down the street down the street yeah maybe by stanfield cutoff okay i see i have no idea what i'm talking about but it sounds good i mean it sounds really good <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never been up here before. Oh, you don't want to get lost in my hood because uh, I'll get us more lost. <sighs> I don't think you can get lost up here. I mean, you got a giant lake right in the middle of your town. No, no, true, but uh, trust me, I've pulled it off. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. Awesome. Look at this tree just rotted, and we get lots of trees that come down that look like that because of, of lightning bolts. Wouldn't that be cool if so, uh, trees like that, you know, you run across in the forest and they have like a little gravestone next to them? Dude! That said all the information yeah. of the tree. Of how that tree... Yeah, yeah. Be like, it was born in 1865, lived until, you know... Until the monsoon took its life. 1940 or whatever, you know, and yeah. This happened and here she lies. The other trail I was going to take us on, there's actually a big hollowed out tree that's a memorial tree and my 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 wife put her daughter's picture in there okay. prayers and stuff there's so many other people who have left um memorial stuff huh. on the other trail is beautiful just just beautiful heart-wrenching yeah see canoe, see guys look at that it's it, it's a total total freaking canoe here Yeah, this is this is this is awesome. Nice on the trail. Thank you for doing this. Heck yeah, I'm glad to get out and get some nature. Yes. I always feel better after nature. And guys, my boy, in about a month and a half, he's going to Hawaii. Hawaii. Lucky dog. Actually, guys, there's nothing luck about it. It's it, it, it's called hard work <laughs> and doing things right and treating people well. Even though they say nice guys finish last, which that's what I am, I think is, it, it, at least we end up finishing eventually, you know? It's not that bad of a deal. It's not that bad but of a deal. You still get finished. 100%. Oh, look at this oh. shade. That's so nice. <laughs> walk down through here. The rest of the yeah, totally. Just keep on turning around, walking back and forth. Okay, so that was 10 and then 11. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. The must be right? ground opens up. <laughs> Underground. <sighs> Aliens. Now, have you ever seen any kind of UFOs up here? Nikki? One time I thought I saw something, but when I looked online, it was a, a shooting star, uh, a bit of a meteor that ended up in the Arizona desert. Wow. But it was it was about midnight, and I think I got it on my camera too. But I can't remember which video. It was about three thousand videos ago, dude. The whole sky, I, I promise you, Curtis, no hyperbole. It looked like this. It, it looked like daytime for about three seconds. Blue sky, bright white. At it night? was oh, in the middle of the night. Yeah, that's how bright the thing was. Wow. Now, do you see the stars pretty good up here? Sadly, bro, not not what you would think. Really? Not what you would think. It's uh. We get a lot of light pollution from the city. A ton. That's exactly that's exactly right. A ton. Um, but if I go over to where you drove up on the back of, of darker side. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And dude, I always think about in California, a near Death Valley area, 
there is what's considered the darkest place on the planet and it, it, it's the best yeah in, in california not in the sahara not here not in in egypt what but makes it the darkest? you know what i i great question <laughs> great question but i was trying to research where to be the best place for stars because you know oh it's probably the less the, the least amount of light pollution yes there. yes yeah. yes yeah. but that would be something i think rachel your girl i mean yeah i love her. i really want to do stuff like that with you guys you know we're up at this place called uh shadow mountain it's way up in the um eastern sierras okay and I don't know what it was, but there was something flying around up there, and it was doing irregular movements. You know, yeah. It wasn't a satellite. Defying physics. By. It yeah. wasn't um, falling out of the sky. It was moving around, and it was up in the stars. Dude, uh, dude, I've, I've, all this new government stuff that's been coming out, and uh, very reliable sources who are honest people. A lot going on. There's, there's a lot that's been hidden from us. Yeah. And who are we to think? Because just in the observable universe it takes like 50 million or, or, or more light years just to get to the furthest point that we can see actually i think it's more more than 50 million light years and that's just all we can see there has to be something else out there we're measuring, and that's you know the, the problem with that is we're measuring that in time yes time doesn't exist outside of our 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 um, you know perception but in in like measurement no true but in like measurement tools to like get there that's how long it, it would take and humans we can't even go one light year <laughs> um so yeah it's it's just i'm not someone who thinks that we're all by ourselves i think that's impossible to think that because there's so many planets just in our solar system that are in that goldilocks zone um we of can, of their star alone here yeah yeah you know and think about it we could never get to to most of these areas anyway in in a lifetime even going a hundred thousand miles per hour and it, it, like it's it's remarkable what i think is is that there are other beings out there that have been around a lot longer than humans have been if if the universe is really 13.8 billion years old I, I you know imagine if there was some life that formed even a million years ago somewhere else like uh or human life they would have such a head start on the technological stuff because uh, we're brand new out here well, think you, about it this way yeah what if there was no time if you stop calculating every everything by time just lose time in, in general. Throw it out the window. Yeah. That then allows you to do all kinds of different things. No, sure, sure. You live outside of it. I just, I've always seen it that when it comes to the time language, especially when it comes to, to space travel and stuff, I think that's, they're just using it to, you know, measure distance, but lots of the quantum physics guys Curtis is extraordinarily bright like like extraordinarily bright um, but yeah in the quantum physics field and other similar stuff like light like that kind of kind kind of shows you times just uh, you gotta lose the it's yes yes mm -hmm. yes that's a great way to put it <laughs> well look What's at that I have no idea but there's a there's lake over there and then okay, right here. where oh yeah he's a monster look at that guy guys hi buddy hi how you doing you want to say hi you want to say hi <laughs> he's like no but i'll bite your finger <sighs> yeah it was what is what is this look at all this curse just ruins just major major ruins I wonder if this was at, at one point during big storms, some sort of a wash because everything seems like it's ended up in there. Great. Dude, this is so beautiful. He's going to the top of the rock. I will watch you do that. Dang, dude. 
<laughs> How's the view? Oh, oh, jeez! Care careful, careful. We're on this together. We are, and guys, I just had the second overheat already, but we are recording again, and thankfully, my best buddy here is very, very kind and considerate, not being angry with me that I keep on holding us up. Oh, it's just water. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> So guys, I know these are markers wow. to tell the distance, but oh wow. Yeah, tree. Oh wow, right in front of me. Wow. That thing got pecked. Dude, I was just gonna say, is that woodpeckers? Yeah. Look at all the way up that thing. Jeez. Like somebody shot it with a machine gun. <laughs> yeah, totally. It looks beautiful though. I uh, there's a few houses up here I've 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 seen that have been absolutely the whole side of the house just destroyed. Yeah, they, they literally look. <laughs> like seriously. Yeah. Which would suck. Big time. Wake up that. And then a friend of mine who they put like metal over the holes. The darn thing starts to peck at that, and it's the loudest thing they say. It reverberates through the whole house. <laughs> Woodpeckers out there with a drill. <laughs> totally, 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 man. That's fun. Ah, oh, breezy. Yeah, going down. For breezy, cover girl, breezy. Look at the lake. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and again you guys forgive me for constantly having to cut you guys off when i'm uh changing the battery but it is what it is i think we're almost done anyway we're number five we're going down that's crazy how quickly we got here oh there we go that way but here's number five then a nice view up here guys this is a nice little like uh, not too short, but just a, a good distance little hike. Maybe we'll, since we're almost done, just walk across the street to the lake area for a couple minutes. Are, are you okay with that, maybe? You take me, man. Guys, okay, you see that? To, to explore the bear with you. Thanks, man. Thanks, bro. We're bearing out. <laughs> I'm glad you can bear, bear me. <laughs> just bear with me. <laughs> I mean, technically, they are bearing with us. Yes, yes, so. <laughs> yes, they are. And those of you, my friends and family here on the channel, don't forget I'm going to Florida in a week from today. Florida. Gonna go see my 91 year old father, and my wife is gonna meet him for the first time. I am so excited. Since we're gonna get thunderstorms every day out there, I might do a video of the trip. Um, but since it's not big bear weather, I could justify it as the and more. <laughs> the more part. Yes, the and more part. Oh, this is this is beautiful. It's so it's warm up here, guys, because I'm I live up here. I'm not used to going down where he just came from, where it was 105 in in. So he went to Palm Springs for work, and then the other side of the mountain range for work. And then on his way home, he drives up the mountain to come see me. And I got here by 1230. <laughs> yeah, yeah, guys, remember he lives near near the beach in Orange County and did all these desert bu business ventures uh, before he even came to, to see me, so. You can do a lot in one day. No, dude, you have a lot of energy, but your passion also helps you. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to watch. When you're happy doing what you do, it's, it's not work. It's never work. Yep. No, yep. It's something that you're, you wake up and you're excited to go do. Dude, do you remember me telling you that like I used to wake up years ago each day and be like, I would say the F word and yeah. be like, F yeah. word, I have to go to work today. Yeah. Now when I wake up, I have a smile on my face. I'm like, I get to do this today. Yeah. Like it's, it's it too, so, like, what, what do I get to do today? Like, yeah, <laughs> win, oh, yeah. we, we get to win <laughs> yeah. and help other people come up, help other people win. Yeah. 
no, it's a beautiful life, but we created it by working hard, you guys, and doing the right thing. That's the Im important thing. Once I stopped chasing money and chased the happiness first, there you go. that's when everything, everything started changed. falling into place. Yeah. 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 Yep. Even though I don't make any money, you don't need to make money. I'm happy every day. <laughs> I'm happy every day. That money isn't happiness. Money doesn't create happiness. No. It just makes some things easier, but it do, that 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 doesn't equate to happiness. It's a tool that you can use to to, to create more some happiness. It's a great way to put it. It is a tool. But That's it's a, not the it's not the, the, the problem solving. Uh, it's not going to solve all your problems. And and because I'm I moved up here May first, two thousand and fifteen, and guys, for my little two story house. It's, it's a shack, but it's nice on the inside because I've redone everything. I pay $550 per month. Now that same place, um, I think they're trying to get between $1,500 and $1,800 a month for it now. Just in this short period of time, wow. everything up here, dude, the prices have gotten crazy. Curtis and I were always talking about finding a property up here. And then I could manage it for the Air, Airbnb stuff and he could just sit down the mountain and just count the money while we give great, great experiences. And uh, I mean, again, those, those are thoughts that I, 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 I wish we would have jumped on years ago when we started talking about it because... You never know. That could come around again. Yes, yes. I still like it. I do too. Yeah. I do too. And not that I'm anything special, but like, like, uh, it shocks me the reaction I get from like folks when they first meet me who've seen this channel. It, it's like, I would add that as, as part of your Airbnb experience. Like, like if you wanted me to, I would swing by, hang out for a couple minutes, chat with, with y'all, like, 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 like just, just to, just to help you and, and give you the best possible experience ever up here and again please don't don't think i'm referring to myself as as someone special because uh curtis is always trying to help me to build my build my uh self-esteem because i'm you guys know i've got a really negative look outlook on 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 my life and uh this guy has saved my butt emotionally so much you guys like i would do anything for him because he's changed my life just try to help out. That's the guy right there, guys. <laughs> That's him right there. <laughs> yes, sir. <sighs> I, I, hi, guys. Oh, after you. <laughs> Enjoy your hike. Thank you. I don't think what's we... A, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you on a hike? I haven't been on that many hikes so far. Um, I would, I think, um, <laughs> the craziest thing is getting through some of these hikes. I'm like, I, ca I, I can't believe I actually made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, <laughs> what's been the craziest thing that's ever happened to you on a hike? Um, you know, I think just wildlife, I would say. Cause I've never been on a hike where it's, you know, I've had gotten into trouble or danger or anything like that. But it's always really special when you run across wildlife when you're not expecting it. No, sure. Um, and it doesn't really matter even what it is. It, I mean, deers, uh, you, you're hiking and you run across a deer, it's always a special moment. Yeah. You know, because you don't see deer even as, as common as they are that often. That's you know? true. So it's, it's always just that... Um, that presence of running across across the wild animal in the, in the wild and it not running away from you yeah you know? yeah you gotta have that interaction time of, you spend a little bit of time with it, that animal you know? oh bro that that's 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 like that's part of the exact reason why even though i'm so out of shape that i i, I love doing this now is because not only the chances to get to see nature in nature but the emotional feelings you get just from yeah. being outside, getting yeah. this vitamin D yeah. and being out in... It plays a huge role. 
you feel better. Of, oh, you know? Dude, every time after a hike, yep. no matter how depressed I am, I feel better. Yep. Your body feels better, you're, you're, just, you're happier. We, we were so, on a hike one time and I ran across this peacock. And I'm not kidding you, it was down in the, it was like way down there. And I was like, wow, how cool there's a peacock, you know? <laughs> this thing came walking all the way up to me. No like, way. Stood there. Where was this? This was out in Black Star Canyon in Orange County. Okay. They have peacocks out there? One. Wow, dude. <laughs> That's cool. And this thing came walking all the way up to me, you know? And it, it was just such a, like, a, amazing moment because it was like, here comes this thing. You know? <laughs> it's coming towards me. All right, me. guys. So we lost the power or the phone, the camera overheated again while he was talking about his peacock experience <laughs> dang old peacock dang old peacock so yeah anyways just moments like that when you get out in nature and you something happens that's unexpected and it's just a really you, you treasure those little moments you yeah because you never oh, yeah. know when they're going to happen no the, exactly exactly and it becomes something really spe a special memory now that you have you know and it Speaking of like deer, up here in this mountain range, what I have noticed, and, and everybody watching, this is from my personal experiences, is uh, when my mom owned a cabin in, in Lake Arrowhead from when I was 10 until 15, that side of the mountain range, you guys, gets so many deer. This side, no joke, in the eight plus years that I've lived here, I, I, I've probably seen maybe five or six deer total. That's it. That's it. That's it. And never any in Moon Ridge or anything like that. They've always been over by Snow Summit, or no, no, sorry, Snow Valley Ski Resort or on Highway 38 as you're going up out of town near Onyx Summit. So yeah, I've, I've like, there's hardly any deer on this side of the mountain range. That's why when you guys are driving up here, try to be cognizant of the street signs that you see because on this side of the mountain you really don't see deer crossing signs on the other side of the mountain range they're everywhere everywhere have you ever noticed that curtis no i don't come up here enough for that that's um, that's 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 true let me that's, ask you this and, sure um, i know because i've seen a video but you probably know better than me are there any bears left up here yes yes oh, okay. uh, yep Apparently so there's video of one, there's right? about three to six hundred bears. Really? That yeah. many? Yep. Have you yep. ever seen one? Um, on my ring doorbell one 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 morning at three in the morning a couple years back, I, I recorded what I think is a a bear. But when I used to be on Facebook, um, and you know Sugarloaf, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, there have been times when every single day the same people would would be posting short little clips. Of seeing these these bears every day. Are they all just black bears? Yes, yeah. but this place used to be grizzly bears. That's wild. It used to be grizzlies, but then when uh, it was founded by I think the like Mormon people or like something like 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 that, they hunted them all. Yeah. They 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 got rid of them all, and then they eventually, not them, but Forest Service or something like that, brought in the uh, the uh, brown bears. And so now, yeah, we've got about three to six hundred br brown bears up here. Brown or black? Um, I want to say brown. Okay. I, I want to say brown. But there's probably both. Okay. But at our zoo, I recorded some grizzlies there. Dude, huge. I think like, I've seen that bear over there. Is he, he always there? Yes, yeah. yes. And, and he's, he's old. He's yeah, old, yeah. but he is humongous, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, so we just finished the Woodland Trail. Wow, that was a quick mile and a half, but that's because I was with you. So yeah, time, that's time that's flies. A nice little trail to go, uh, you know. It's a cute trail. Without getting too committed to a, you know, a long time. Yeah, it's a super cute trail. Yes, I said super cute. Nice little loop. Loopity loop loop. So I was thinking maybe we'll walk down by these benches and just do a, a small little stroll along the lake. I'm with you. Yeah, sweet dude. I think we should uh, we should see how that GoPro looks underwater. <laughs> it is waterproof. I know. It is totally waterproof. I mean, so they say. 
It's always that scary moment of, oh, you got to put the whole waterproof case on it, don't you? No. You don't got to do that? No, anymore? nope, That's nope. Awesome. But if you go below 30 meters or like whatever it is, then then they say they add, well, add that case. Our phones are waterproof now too. Yes. I've never yes. tried it, never tested it. I'm but using my... You're supposed to be able to go out into My 14 mini. I got the 14 Pro. Yeah, see, I just, I was, I... Uh, because I'm always using my phone just like you, but I like to do my videos while I'm driving with my phone. It's just too bulky for me. Should we walk out on the, yeah? <laughs> it is Cali. <laughs> Boaters only. I gotta go back. Oh. Yeah, guys, we're just gonna take a quick look. We are boaters. Oh, this thing's moving. Yeah, it, it is, dude. Whoa, trippy. Wow, look at this, though. Wow. Look at how beautiful this is, you guys. Look at all the people over there, too. Look at that. If, that's going to be like it is when, when, you, when you go to Kauai, dude. Kauai, right? That's where I have family who has been there for their whole lives. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, 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 it's totally tripping me out. Guys, can you guys believe this? The lake is so full right now. It's beautiful. Look at that guy. <laughs> guys, he's so good to me. I just want you guys to to totally know that. He he has changed everything in my life by being so kind, so loving. He <laughs> you how dare you? <laughs> he's He's jumping back. Yeah, he's rocking the boat for sure. But yeah, I think this, our water didn't even go out to here, right here, guys, before wow. this last season. Do you ever so, uh, kayak out here? Not yet. Not yet. Nice. That'd be a lot of work. Nice. I've got the hookup to like get like a, uh, I'll never ask for anything like that. They <laughs> offer it yeah. and I'll, I'll accept it like a, yeah, we'll still have to pay, but well, we'll get to, hooked up. Good to um, show that point of view, you know? 100%. From the, oh, no, like, That's mean, why that boat about? tour, bro, a couple weeks ago, they all loved it. How was your 4th of July up here? Fantastic. We got a VIP thing at the Pines restaurant, which is like the furthest point out so on the point. It was, dude, Curtis, it was, it, it was great. I even did a live feed while I'm recording the regular video. And at, at one point, I was shocked that there was over 250 people watching it live. Yeah, and they kept donating and stuff, dude. It's it it, it just shocks me how well they freaking treat me. Like we gotta, it, we gotta stand out here, like yeah, dude, <laughs> dude. I'm like I'm like this part of my legs. It's gonna get strong right now because I'm I'm using my using my core. There's a bit of a bl uh, wind blowing on the legs. <laughs> yes. Just rocking this. Uh... On the boat tour, bro, it's super windy. Like it is super windy, but oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, this was like 60 degrees. Guys, as I said, the last stop he just made, he just came up from between 100 to 105 degrees. And so, yeah, this is definitely heaven on earth for him. But look at Snow Summit, man. I mean, come on, you guys. On one of the hikes I did a couple weeks ago, uh, I don't know if it's that, that empty area i think it's that one on the right that looks like ski runs that's the original ski resort up up here where right over there? yep yep really? yep Is and that still there or no no Just... but we hiked up to it and then kept on going um uh, uh the it's called the pine knot trail and you 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 get up to the top to this point where you San, San, Gorg San Gorgonio is right there. It's, it's spectacular. Do they do the mountain biking down the hill? Yes. The yes, they do. And I'm telling you what, I didn't realize how popular it is. Parking lots as full as it is going skiing. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. It's, oh uh, yeah. That's something we should all, all do also. I'll be going slow, but I think that would be... You know what we should do? Let's do I've it though. This idea. I, I'm seeing. I'm seeing a vision in my mind. I'm looking at this hill right here in front of us. Yeah. And I'm seeing us going down it in those little Barbie jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what? We, we have to hook some. I know they have in, right? they have insurance stuff. So, <laughs> but since since uh, my main hiking buddy Ray, he's their like lead lift guy. Yeah. So uh, we could we could definitely maybe put something. Speaking of that, if if he's working right now, if you had extra time, we can take a ride up to the top. Let's go. You want to do that? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. What a beautiful dog. What a gorgeous dog. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Let me uh, see if he is working right now. Oh, it's dude. It's 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 ridiculous. And 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 what I learned also is for the fourth, they'll also. They'll take you up to the top so you can actually watch the fireworks from the very top. Really? Yeah, how cool is that? All right, Ray. Ray, 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 okay. Hey, my brother from another mother. I have a question for you. I have my best friend with me from Orange County and I was wondering if you're at work today. I'm pretty sure, oh shoot, this might be your day off, but let me know because I really wanted to go up to the top. That's right. I, I think How Wednesday. How much does it cost to go up there? Uh, like ten or fifteen bucks. If he's not working. I'll pay for it. Are you sure? I got you. Man. Are you sure? Yeah. I want I want a venture. Dude, thanks, man. <laughs> Th dude, seriously, man. Thank you. Guys, see that? Consider that payback from the time that I smashed that Kit Kat <laughs> <laughs> on, your, on your mat. On my brand new car. On accident. On my brand new car. <laughs> it, was, it was horrible. <laughs> I still feel bad about that. Guys, you know what? Once again, that's a reflection of who my friend is. It, it wasn't a big deal. Yeah. Well. Um, but he's just like me where like uh, I would have tripped out on myself. But it was nothing intentional. Well, I can't believe I actually did that, and I didn't know about it. It, it, uh, it happened without me knowing. It cleaned up, right? I would have cleaned it if I knew about <laughs> it. <laughs> I would have been like, oh crap. You know, I was feeling like a total tool for even telling you about it. I don't remember what came up, why I ended up saying, oh, and uh. Well, I'm glad you did. <laughs> I hope this is still recording. Thank goodness. I think... Look at all the paint that's on there. Yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's is that years. layers? Is that layers yeah. of paint? No way. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing things you find in Big Bear. Hey guys, we're gonna take a look at this sign before we, we walk back to the car. And keep your fingers crossed that we don't have a ticket. <laughs> Do, I'll pay no, 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 no. That's uh. But if you came up here more often, I would suggest that we go buy okay. one of the passes because the second pass only costs five bucks. Um, it, so if you buy two at once, it, it's like thirty-five bucks. Yeah, thirty for the first one. It goes all the way down to Deep Creek. That's car. <sighs> Sorry about the cussing, you guys. Jeez, she's gonna get me demonetized. All right, so <laughs> just to let you guys know, we were here. <laughs> yes. And we came down this way, and we walked all the way around, all the way around, <laughs> all the way around, all the way around. <laughs> we got here. Now we walked back down to here. Yes, we did. In record time. Hi there. In record time. Right <laughs> now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Take care. Have a great rest of your day. You too. <laughs> Thank you. That's so funny, you guys. All right, well, what I'm thinking about doing is, is using the lift for another video instead of putting it all on the same because I, I want to separate the hiking from the schmiking. There you go. The hiking from the schmiking. Thank you, Curtis. This could be great, bro. This was nice. I will do this anytime. Oh, dude, I, I, I'm telling you, man, like, uh, you give me the, the, the motivation and the will. You tell me where to sign. <laughs> Just tell me where to sign, bub. <laughs> <laughs> I even washed my car for him, guys. You what? guys, you guys remember how filthy this darn thing was? I'm I, really special, yeah. Well, you are really special. 
All right, so the key is in your your pur or your purse, huh? <laughs> oh, thank you. Purse. Thank you, sir. Let me just make sure that I can close it up a little better there. Yeah, thank you. I got it. I got it. Hang on. I got it. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes. All right, let me, let me grab this for my buddy. And then I definitely will take some sips of my ice cold, which is probably is not ice cold anymore. Can I, can I go get the door for you on your side? Sure. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> thank you, Jeeves. Thank you, Jeeves. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's say bye for right now. We're going to post a separate video in a... Uh, I'll post the other video in a couple days, the one that we're going to go do right now. Thank you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Once again, my be fun. best friend in the world. And guys, never ever forget, he treats me so well, so much love, and uh, I would I would do, do absolutely anything for him, just like I would do anything for you guys. So thank you for enjoying. This was the Woodland Trail, and we will see you later. Come hike it. Bye guys. There. Get out here. Oh, like and subscribe too, please. Just come on. I mean, come on. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Peace out.